Okay, today we're going to take a look at Norton Internet Security. There are a number of tools out there uh, for this same purpose. Uh, Norton seems to have a very consistent and reliable product, and that's the reason we're going to talk about it today. Uh, we're going to do a brief overview of it and uh, talk about a few of the settings that are on this uh, to hopefully uh, clarify some misunderstandings and possibly uh, make you more aware about what this product really is. Um, Let's look, let's, uh, the best way to start this up is to go ahead and click on the uh, Norton icon in your notification area. Uh, that is uh, the simplest way. You can also go through the Start menu and navigate up through there and start it. But in this case, I, I clicked on the Norton menu and started it from there. Uh, let's look at the options that we have on here. Uh, Windows Automatic Update. It's, uh, I've got it currently where it's ignoring it. Uh, personally, I have the uh, system tell me when updates are available. I select whether or not I want to uh, do those updates. And so the best thing to do in a case like that is to tell it to ignore those updates because uh, uh, Windows is going to be offering me updates and I'll either be taking them or leaving them depending upon my uh, personal preference. This is especially true if you have problems with uh, some updates that might be co uh, causing trouble with uh, conflicts with so other software on your computer, things like this. Usually you hear about those, uh, usually before those updates have been out, th out there for more than even a day, you hear about things like that through the internet and email. So uh, I just use that uh, as, a, as a tool to let me know what, what updates do I need to accept. Protection updates, uh, that, that's an important item here. Uh, that means that my live update program is running effectively and that I have downloaded the latest uh, spyware and virus def definitions. Uh, your, your, your spyware and your uh, virus uh, protection programs are only as good as the updates that you have. So if the definitions you've got are two years old, then you're not going to be protected against viruses and spyware that have been developed in the last two years. Spyware protection, uh, we're good there. Virus protection, we're good there. Inbound firewall, this is an important item. You want to make sure that, you, uh, that your firewall is active. Uh, this one does replace Windows Firewall and seems to do, I think, a, a little better job. Uh, virus and spyware scan means that I have ran a scan recently or in a reasonable length of time and it says it's okay. Internet, we have the advanced firewall settings. Again, some of these are very, uh, very uh, effective in stopping the, uh, the bad guys from getting to your computer. Outgoing and incoming email scan, very important for protection against macro viruses and other things that can come in your email. Intrusion protection prevention, that keeps the guys, the bad guys from coming in and uh, possibly coming through a, uh, what we would call in the industry, a back door. Uh, using a port that's seldom used on the computer, uh, basically uh, sneaking in a, a, you know, through, a, through a window, so to speak, or a small door that we don't know about. Uh, that you know, that, that uh, ability is turned on. Phishing protection is uh, you have uh, people that come out there and they try to steal your identity. Uh, they're phishing or looking for information about you, and uh, this is the way that they can either do identity theft or they can also take your information and sell it to others, or they can use it to possibly compromise uh, you uh, in areas of uh, financially and other otherwise by uh, gaining access to your computer, financial records, whatever. So uh, definitely this is one of those things where uh, you want to be very careful. Now I'm going to go over here and click on the options over here in the left hand, lower left hand corner. Uh, we click on it and uh, Norton Internet Security has a series of options here. Um, some of them are pretty effective and some of them are things that you necessarily have to have turned on. Now notice um, uh, the password protection, I've got that turned, on, uh, turned off right now. Uh, you could turn that on. The password protection basically um, it allows me to uh, monitor passwords with this system. I've got it turned off right now because I just don't want to uh, use that, uh, that particular item. Now the protecting the Norton system uh, files from being cha uh, unauthorized changes is very important. They do recommend it. I agree. Uh, you'll notice all these others I have deselected. And it's just because of personal uh, preference in most cases. Uh, live update, it's turned on. Quick scan whenever updates have been received. That way you make sure that uh, if your, your updates may catch uh, 
a virus or a piece of spyware that has just uh, recently came out. Uh, personal firewall. If we look on this, it's turned on. This, like I said, replaces your Windows firewall. And then I have, instead of automatically uh, letting it decide to do what to do about uh, an incident, I ask, I tell it to ask me. And uh, also, I have it automatically customizing internet settings, so it will ask me from time to time, "Do you want to allow access by uh, uh, from the internet from the outside for this particular program?" And I tell it yes or no. So it's a, it's really good as far as control. Program control, you actually can go in here and set. Uh, different access uh, for uh, different programs. Uh, trust control, same sort of thing here. Advanced settings, uh, blo stealth blocked for ports. Remember I told you that the uh, ports uh, tend to be a, uh, a not common attack place, uh, especially if you use instant messenger products. The bl uh, ports can be uh, created on the fly and uh, there's a potential problem there. This uh, product does uh, help protect against that. Okay, let's go down here and look at intrusion protection. Uh, right now it's on so that the basically internet attacks uh, will be at least slowed down if nothing else. And uh, hopefully you'll find out about it before you have any problems. Uh, browser Defender protects from uh, anybody trying to mess around with your browser and gain control of your computer through it. And then of course uh, if there's an intrusion prevent, uh, prevention uh, blockage of attack, uh, and when it blocks a connection, it's going to tell me, yes, there's a problem. I like this one being turned on so that I know what's going on. Security inspector, various different settings here. Uh, you can exclude certain things and you can tell it when to, uh, when and when not to alert. You can turn off the, res the alerts as well. Um, Real-time protection. Uh, notice uh, uh, the suspicious activity monitoring I've got turned on. Scan removal media. Uh, for boot viruses. This this is really a great thing to stop viruses before they occur. A lot of times you'll get a virus from a flash flash drive, a floppy disk, a CD, DVD that's been inserted. Uh, so this is a great, uh, great thing in itself. It seems like a little bit of a pest at times, but it's a great thing to have. Auto protect, I've got it turned on. Uh, email protection, I've got that turned on. That was the uh, items where it said it's going to check uh, incoming and outgoing. Instant Messenger, if I were using it and had it turned on, then these would be available. I could actually turn these on and tell it that I want to uh, protect the Instant Messengers from the uh, problems that are caused there. Manual Scanning, I can go in there and, and, ha and th there's a couple options here you need to check. Scan with compressed file within compressed files. Uh, also, scan archive programs or active programs. So, archives and active programs are critical here. Sonar scan is another uh, tool that's available uh, within uh, this particular product. Really seems to do a good job. Key logging detection, so somebody doesn't go in there and log your keystrokes as you're typing a password. Uh, scan for root kits and other stealth items. Root kits, if they get on the root of a hard drive, they're pretty bad. I just recently had to do some work on a, on a client's computer that had that problem. Uh, he lost a third of his data, although I was able to salvage the other two thirds. So uh, this is a potential real problem. Tra tracking cookies, uh, what they do is they get uh, go in your web browser, they leave a tracking cookie, and they find out where you go, what you've been doing, and uh, can get all kinds of information about you. Exclusions, I can go in here and set exclusions for uh, scanning, signatures, spyware protection, and low-risk action items. What I'm supposed to do, low-risk actions, ask me what to do. Medium and high-risk immediately are still automatically taken care of. Home networking, uh, you know, just basically a welcome screen tells me it's, it's turned on. Transaction protection, I can go in here and uh, block certain programs or allow it to allow or block from here. If I've told it to block a program, it uh, can be reversed. Cancel that. Uh, now what we're going to do is do a quick scan. We'll click on the Norton Internet Security uh, tab. We can either run it or schedule, or we can do things like man, man, uh, managing the quarantined items and uh, things like that. What we're going to do in this case, we're going to run a scan. We're going to run a quick scan. And uh, what we will do is we'll go ahead and let it run. Hopefully it will not find any problems. Uh, I installed this uh, this uh, hard drive and, and set up the system a little over a month ago. So there's a lot of things that uh, could potentially be wrong, but still, 
I haven't used it a whole lot so consequently uh, it should be fairly clean if you do use the computer a lot you should scan it uh, with a, uh, a full scan at least once a month and uh, preferably a couple of times a month at the minimum the um, the, pro the programs uh, that get infected, uh, if they get infected, they tend to spread the virus infection. And spyware is the same way. It spreads itself. Looks like I'm clean and clear. Uh, so I guess we're good. I'm going to go ahead and click on Finish. Um, so we're done with, with a basic overview of this uh, product. Um, uh, one thing you want to always note with Norton uh, in, uh, Internet Security, it always has a green check mark down here. Uh, whenever everything's good. If it turns red, you need to check things. Otherwise, you may have some regrets later. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Uh, tell you what, uh, thank you for, uh, for watching. Have a great day, and uh, uh, come see us uh, at home.earthlink.net forward slash tilde Krabby, or you can Google or Bing me at Krabby's Place. Have a great day.